Hi and welcome to section 9, Real Life Tasks with Ember.js. Previously we saw logging, debugging and testing. In this section we will learn to use services with a component, manage basic authentication, use OAuth2, create transitions, work with HTML and learn to use Bootstrap with Ember.js. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with using services with a component. In this video we're going to take a look at how to create and inject a service into a component. In Ember.js a service is a singleton object that holds state. In other words it can be shared throughout an Ember application and doesn't change. For example session data, APIs that talk to a server and WebSockets are good candidates for services. Dependency injection services and dependency injection go hand in hand. Dependency injection DI occurs when we take objects and inject them into other objects during instantiation. This means that we take a service and inject it into our routes, controllers and components. This is an important framework concept and should not be overused. Having too many injected services would break the separation of concerns using design principle. In a new application, generate these files. These files will be used to create our application. The service will hold a property and method that returns data. Begin by editing the start.js service. This is the services file. It has an isOn property and a method called important info that returns a string. In this example, we want access to the information in our component comp-info so that it can be displayed. Edit the component comp-info.js file and add a new action that uses the start services information. The most important thing in the component is the start property. We can inject the start service into the component by using ember inject service. By convention the name of the property must match the name of the service being injected. In our example the start service will be injected. The press me action toggles the is on property of the start service. We then set the text returned from the important info method in the message property so that it can be displayed in the template. Add button to the template information for the component. In the component all we are doing is adding an action to the button and displaying a message. Add the comp-info component to the application template file. Now the template will display the component that was just created. Start the Ember server and it will look as follows. Awesome. Pressing the button will toggle the is on property. As you can see from this example the service information was accessed by the component and displayed to the template. Create initializer that injects the service into all the components. Ember.js initializers are created when the application is started. It's a good place to preload data or set up the application state. The app argument in the initialize function is known as ember.application. It serves as a registry for a dependency declaration. Factories, classes, can be registered and injected into the application. The service colon start is the key for the start service that we created earlier. Once a factory is registered, it can be injected anywhere in the application. As the start service has already been created, there is no need to register it. The app inject takes three arguments. The first is the type to be injected. The second is the name of the service, start. Finally, the service start factory is created. Update the component so that it no longer injects the start service as it's already available via the dependency injection. The start service is commented out so it's no longer available. The rest of the component remains the same as the service can still be retrieved using the this.get start. This is due to the fact that we injected it into all the components in the initializer. Run the server again and the template loaded will remain the same with the same functionality. Nice. Services are long-lived Ember objects that can be used in different parts of your application. They're good to use with sessions, WebSockets, geolocation, logging and more. They can be made available to the rest of the application using Ember Inject Service, which is a method that can retrieve services and make them available. DI can be used to inject services into many parts of the Ember application. 
Ember's architecture uses factories that are registered by Ember application and can inject into all routes, components and controllers using the application inject method. In this video, we have learned how to use services with a component. Nice.